friends we are living in unprecedented times of uncertainty and change now whether it's uh, recurring covid or the changes in technology or the digital transformations across institutions of learning and industries of manufacturing they all have impacted our lives organizations its leaders and teams are faced with swift moving changes new challenges reprioritization of needs and handling responsibilities of teams well now this saturday let's ponder on some of these aspects in these times of uncertainty employees need guidance and in not only personal but also in professional lives psychological scientists report that an absence of in office daily interactions and the impact of loneliness and isolation can be twice as harmful to physical and mental health as obesity that affects our personal lives our work productivity efficiency and success now leaders must energize motivate enable lead by example and also provide a level playing field a certain sense of despair and frustration seems to be dogging our function even as the pandemic seems to be waning maybe now the pandemic's impact is being felt every day even then now several people have resigned from their jobs and several others are in the process of doing so now many managers are left to navigate the ripple effects of the pandemic and the employees are left reevaluating their careers now this has accentuated the problem of skills shortage so many companies are exploring working in a hybrid mode now some even have made it mandatory to work from home at least part of the week till the coast is completely clear so to say or they have taken to the benefits that accrued at the time when work from home was in force during covid now the changes in the work environment seem to be overwhelming in this scenario what can be done to keep the profits floating above the danger mark now for the many leaders and their employees need assistance to manage this change profound change that has taken place and is still taking place now the pandemic has also taught us the importance of mental health and mental wellness now it's about managing stress being productive and making a contribution to the society mental wellness is the internal resource which helps us think feel connect and function now it's necessary to connect with all these forms of wellness spiritual mental emotional and physical only then the well-being of the physical body can be assured in a way the unprecedented levels of uncertainty and change is forcing leaders and everyone else to focus on their core skills the skills that they have the strength that they have and competencies that they have so they can manage the change in their lives since the leaders and executives have to implement that change and rework the management principles and build you know effective working relationships they will need to improve upon their cognitive skills many many times over cognitive flexibility is the key they must be able to promote a new vision and strategy negotiate uncertainty maintain effective communication make sound leadership judgments and create a culture of innovation and growth as well as develop resilience to meet the new challenges the leaders must lead from the front irrespective of the ground situation and must be able to inspire confidence in the workforce to deliver on the company's objectives organizations must be agile and be able to overcome resistance 
to high levels of uncertainty and change they must be able to foresee new opportunities and possible challenges and be able to adapt themselves to the new and improved ideas obviously the leader matters in all these situations he must challenge the old and stand by his conviction he must believe that anything can be done and that he can get things done colin powell former chairman of joint chiefs of staff in the us once said you don't know what you can get away with until you try it's easier to give forgiveness than permission good leaders don't wait for official blessing to try things out they are prudent but not reckless but they also realize a fact of life in most organizations if you ask enough people for permission you will invariably come up against someone who believes his job is to say no so the moral is don't ask if you are convinced if i haven't explicitly been told yes i can't do it to if i haven't been explicitly told no i can must be evaluated in the company's interest words of wisdom indeed true before the pandemic true during the pandemic and will be true after the pandemic the idea must be to solve problems rather than create new ones the leaders must be able to seek new markets identify you know areas of greater profitability view change as an opportunity to learn and evolve a sense of pride and ownership must drive the workforce an effective and innovative leader alone will be able to deliver on this uncertainty and changes cause anxiety anxiety causes fear resistance to change confusion and stress all of them taken together can cause both mental and physical breakdown and therefore leaders must anticipate such reactions in their workforce and create an environment of acceptance openness and learning in order to avoid disengagement and a fall in productivity multiple levels of communication must be explored with various stakeholders with regular updates on progress now feedback of various stakeholders must be enlisted must be sought after cultural values such as honesty and trust must be stressed upon daniel goleman an author psychologist and science journalist said in order to allay fear give strong direction to drive and implement necessary changes motivate the teams and create some short term stability younger team members in particular often ask to be led so the leaders must be commanding and pace setting only change is constant friends now in order that a leader leads manages and implements change he must align individual priority with that of the company strategy and key organizational goals he must be proactive in order to stay ahead he must learn to live with ambiguity must be prepared to accept change and influence what cannot be changed he must be an early adopter and be ready to ally with change and must be enthusiastic about change to create a positive work environment he must be able to help others to cope with change now it's not the change itself but the process of adjusting to the change that is emotional learning to recognize the emotional and psychological experiences of the team will help the leader in his pursuits in these times of challenges and uncertainties our intellect and strength 
may not suffice. Charles Darwin, an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, once said, "It's not the most intellectual of the species that survive. It is not the strongest species that survive, but the ones that are able to adapt to and adjust." best to the changing environment in which it finds itself with that friends let me end this saturday's talk and with a promise to be back the next saturday with another interesting episode until then thank you namaskar and dhanyawad